YouTube, I'm back. Um, okay, so I've been MIA for a little bit, and as you guys have probably seen, I've had coal. Um, so I figured I would get on and tell you guys my story and let you know how everything was going. So, um, 34 weeks rolled around, 35 weeks rolled around, 35 weeks and two days. I started having some issues. So, um, my story goes, on March 16th, I went to work. Um, normal day for me. I got up. I did my stuff. Um, you know, I made it to work okay. Got everything taken care of. Uh, and I started having what I thought was a gallbladder attack. Well, apparently I was completely wrong. Um, I went to, I dropped my cell phone on the floor, went to go reach down for it. Well, when I went to go pick it up, I could not get back up for the life of me. I was stuck in like a crouching position on the floor and I couldn't get up. It, it almost felt like something was contracting me into that position and I could not get up. So um, I tried, I sat there for like half hour and it was just getting way worse. So I had my coworkers call 911. I was rushed to uh, Boulder um, Hospital, and uh, apparently I was having contractions every two to three minutes, lasting about a minute and a half. Pretty painful, I must say. They gave me two shots of tributylene, was not working. I arrived there at about 11.30 on March 16th. So I was sitting there. My husband came. He brought our th three youngest children because our oldest was in school. And um, we just thought that this was going to be, you know, like any other trip. You know, we were uh, sitting there. I was trying to calm down so that the contractions could stop. I'd already gone through two IV bags. They had stuck me 11 times before they could get an IV set into me. Um, so I was pretty upset, like irritated. I wasn't upset at the nurses. I was just really dehydrated. So I was having a difficult time with that. I had like band-aids all up and down my arms, in my hands. I mean, they were, they were doing a really good job. They were really trying. So I was irritated with that and I was irritated because I was in pain. So, um, you know, three o'clock rolls around. I'm still having contractions after two shots of, you know, the turb. And I am... I, I'm starting to get exhausted because of how much the contractions and then they went to lasting about two minutes and doing every minute is what it is what the machine said it was doing I wasn't paying attention my husband was um, and then my kids started getting rambunctious because they were getting tired of being in the hospital so the nurse was like she came in and started administering or um, uh, started what's the word I'm looking for admitting us. She was asking me, like, you know, um, what, what would we prefer as far as a queen bed or a single bed? Um, she was asking me if I had a pediatrician on hand. She was asking me if I had somebody to take our kids at night. And so we kind of figured that something was going on. So the OB comes in. She checks me. I am effacing. Um, I started uh, at 50%. I wasn't dilating, but I was effacing. So anyway, um, so an hour later she came back in. I was 75% effaced, and then she start, She thought I started to dilate. So at that point, um, the contractions were still very consistent. They had given me um, nifedipine as well, and that wasn't working. So at this point, it's like 5 o'clock, 5.30, and the doctor comes in and she goes, look, you're 35 weeks and two days, you've had four previous C -sec or three previous C-sections, we're going to do an ultrasound and see what we can find. So they did an ultrasound, they didn't see anything, my gallbladder, I wasn't having any issues with my gallbladder, blood work came back, everything was okay with that. Um, but the ultrasound, she, they thought that they had seen something, but they weren't sure. Well, at 6... 30, the doctor comes back in and says, look, we need to, we're just going to do the C-section. Your son is a preemie, so we're going to, chances are 90% he will be going to NICU. I just about flipped. I was like, you know, I, I was really sad because I didn't want my son in NICU. I had had 
all of this in my mind. Go play, Katrina. I had had all of this in my mind of how I wanted my birth to go and all this other stuff, and it just was not working out. So at 6, at 6.30, they wheeled me in. They got my husband ready. We had gotten our kids off with a family member. And um, so our kids were gone by this point. We'd gotten everything stored away, and they started wheeling us into the operating room. And 10 minutes later, my son was out. He was crying. He was he was doing good. His APGARs came back at 7 and 8. Um, and then they started putting him on oxygen, and everything just felt like it went downhill from there. Um, the C-section went beautiful, but when they had me open, um, when they were closing me up, I heard my OB talking to me, and I was kind of out of it, and um, the C-section went as normal. I mean, for me, it did anyway. So I started talking to my OB, and she's like, you had a uterine window. Your uterus was rupturing. It was a one cell. Like They, they said that they could see Cole's hair and head um, on my previous C-section um, scars on my uterus. My uterus was stretching so much that it was a window basically so they could see coal through my uterus without before they even cut into it so that alone is scary like if I had ruptured we both could have died like worst case scenario we both could have died so anyway they wheeled me into recovery I was there for an hour and a half that felt like the longest hour and a half of my life I was just like this is ridiculous I want to go see my son I want to make sure he's okay. I told my husband to go with Cole because I wanted to make sure that everything was okay and if something had happened, at least Quinn was with him. So they finally wheeled me in. Well, he was in NICU. But the beautiful part of this, we were just so lucky to get to a hospital that has a NIC room, NICU room all to his own and it is attached to my hospital room. How awesome is that? So we had a whole suite in NICU by ourselves. He had his own room, and then attached was a door and was our room with a queen bed in it so that Quinn and I could sleep together while I was recovering and everything else. Like, it was amazing. Boulder Community Hospital, two thumbs up for me. If you can have a baby at Boulder Community and you happen to need a NICU, that is the place to go. Um, I just got the doctor's bills in the mail a couple days ago, $55,000 just for this little guy. And then it was 25000 for, almost 30000 for me. So it was close to $100,000 for the both of us. Cole was born on March 16th at 6, I couldn't say, sorry. It was sometime before 7, and he was 6 pounds, 5 and a half ounces, and 18 inches long, which is an awesome weight for a 35 weeker but like I told you guys before I carry big babies um, so anyway I couldn't imagine what he would have been had I gone to the 39 and 2 that they were gonna do uh, make me get to for my my schedule section so I'm sort of back to normal I noticed I don't have much time left so I'm just gonna show you guys I am pretty much back to normal you know um, kind of still have about 10 pounds I'd like to lose to get back to my original birth, you know, my pre-pregnancy birth weight. Um, and let me show you guys the little guy. He's sleeping right now, so I'm not going to wake him up. But there is Cole in all his glory. Um, he came home uh, March 26th, so he was in NICU for 10 days. Um, that was by far the hardest week of my life like I was extremely stressed he had to gain weight for two consecutive days before he could go home and he just kept losing and losing and losing and he got down to five pounds uh, five pounds and six ounces so it was scary so anyway and I'll kind of show you guys like his whole body hair I, I kind of unwrapped him so he's tiny but he's he's back up to seven pounds so anyway, guys, that is my birth story. Um, thank you guys all for, um, you know, all of the concern and the messages. You guys are all wonderful. And um, I will come back on and do, you know, the week um, updates, the week updates for Cole. So you guys can kind of see how he's growing and whatnot. 
Anyway, I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching.